and welcome to my evening. In this video you will see a window which has my textbook that's here on my desk and you will also see the primary browser window in which I have opened MIS Online. I am in Chapter 3, Section 3.8 and I have reached a problem. When I have gone down this page reading it, and yes I have read up to this point all the material, I reach this section where I'm supposed to match these terms with their appropriate descriptions in the right column. The problem is none of these look even vaguely familiar to me and I've read the material up until this point so if it's been covered it should look vaguely familiar even if I wasn't paying attention. So I decided to see if maybe there was a problem with the way the materials were put together. So I went to my MIS 8 textbook and first I looked in their little cheat sheet thing in the back they call it a study guide but it's a cheat sheet and but th it wasn't there so then I went into the index and was like well where is this in the textbook because I clearly missed it and so I looked it up um, analytical software and the textbook says it's on page 67 okay so we'll go to page 67 Here's page 67, and let's see what section that's in. It's in section 3.9. You can't see that. 3.9. All right. So where I'm at in the lesson and on MIS Online is 3.8. And this window here where these questions are is in 3.8B. 3.8B. See it right there? 3.8B. 3.8. All right. They're asking me to answer these questions in 3.8b. 3.8b ends on page 65. The answer that I'm supposed to know to answer the questions that are in 3.8b on MIS Online do not occur until I get to the next page in the textbook within section 3.9. So, Therefore, there's a problem somewhere. Um, and I don't think it's with me. I think that the lessons in the MIS Online have been put in the wrong place. So I think it would be good if you contacted MIS Online and let them know that we can't actually answer these questions in this section because they haven't actually taught us the material at the point at which they're asking it. Or if I'm supposed to be reading the whole textbook and then coming back and doing MIS online, maybe they need to inform me of that. Because as far as I can see, everything that's on MIS online here is the exact same thing that's in the textbook. It's just the textbook has been put onto the web. It's the exact same materials except for these little quizzes that are in MIS online that apparently someone gaffed and put in entirely the wrong place. So. Can you contact them about that? Because it's really frustrating to me because I don't do well when things are in improper order. I don't handle the stress of things being wrong very well. Thank you.